Hello, Cardboard Geek here, and another uh, unboxing video. Uh, I've recently just received this. I know the game's been out for a while. I've heard reasonable things about it. Nice cooperative game. Good theme. Bear family game. Uh, this is Horrified. Uh, Universal City Monsters. I don't know if you're familiar with most of them, but I think you can see from the cover uh, pretty much who we're dealing with. All the classics, basically. Forget Freddy in this case. Um, he has his place, but the originals have their moment in time, and this brings it back. So what we have here is a 1-5 to five player game, age 10 up, uh, 60 minutes long approximately, and it's done by Ravensburger, who had a long history in games. Uh, a lot of people know them for their puzzles more, to be honest. But uh, in this, uh, the village is under attack. Dracula, the mummy, Frankenstein's monster, his bride and more are on the rampage. And your team of heroes must defeat them. Each monster offers an entirely unique challenge and players can adjust the difficulty by playing against a new group of adversaries every game. Overcome them all before the horror overcomes you type thing. Anyway, so let's uh, flip this back over. I've uh, desealed it, but as yet it's unopened. And, oh, another nice tight box lid. Again, tight boxes, gotta love them. And I don't think I've actually secured, I've done all the, no, I haven't. Oh, that was clever, wasn't it? So, excuse me a second. I'll just deal with this. Uh, I had noticed it was done on four sides when I unsealed it. There we go. Right, so, let's try that again. Oh. Oh, well, I think we can read that nicely. We feel it would be a little unkind to present this game without just a word of friendly warning. You are about to unfold one of the strangest tales ever told. We think it will thrill you, it may shock you, it might even horrify you. So if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to... Well, we warned you. I love that image on there. Look at it. It's so old school uh, horror. And that's on the back. Is that on the back of the board? Yes, it is. <laughs> I love it. That's brilliant. Uh, nice little touch there. Uh, right, let's have a look at the board. So obviously I'm assuming this is where we all move around. As yet, I haven't played it. And we've got some uh, shops. Huh. The Graveyard, that'll be a nice place to go. An institute, because let's face it, you can't have um, a game on Universal Monster without a few mad scientists. There's a dungeon in the top corner. Can't quite see that out there. Let's see if I can just move the camera. Uh, there we go, a little dungeon. Let's put that back. And, uh, well, yeah, it's pretty much everything you'd expect to find in the horror genre. For places to go. Theatres, mansions, abbeys, crypts. It's another scary place in caves. I wonder. A lagoon. Given this is Universal Monsters, I think we know who will be there. Right, so let's put that away. That's a lovely colourful board, I do have to say. I do like it. It's certainly very much in theme. Okay, let's put that away. Also, being nice and bright for the family science. I do like that. That's nice. Uh, what we got here? So, the rule book. All the bits as yet obviously unpopped. Oh, they've sealed them from the looks of it. Let's have... Oh, there's... As a note, if you want to learn to play this game, they have a video of it. I'm sure there'll be other ones, but... The um, rule book seems quite clear and nice. Uh, okay, so, yeah, that looks all nice. We'll see that later. And uh, we'll pop this out now. I'm not going to pop the bits, obviously. That's much later. That looks like equipment. Bits and pieces. Uh, I'm going to assume these are the investigators at this point. Um, and looks like some NPCs. We have a Fritz there. Very, very uh, Igor. Um, oh, is that a maiden in the tower? Yep, there we go. Maiden in the tower for those who want to rescue. And uh, that all looks very, very good. So I'm just going to... Can we unseal this edge? There we 
go. Let's get rid of this. Oh, cards are good thickness. Nice. Uh, all bodes well for its longevity. And uh, we have uh, equipment, I assume. Bits and pieces. I'm not entirely sure what all of these are. Oh, character cards. So, we have the mayor. Gets five actions. Uh, ah, so they all have action points type thing. Professor, who doesn't love a good professor. Uh, shame he doesn't look a little more like Peter Cushing, maybe. Uh, oh, archaeologist. Certainly no Indiana Jones there. Though the, the explorer more so. Inspector. And a courier. Uh, this is pretty typical. They've all got their own little special power. Best way to use them, Forbidden Island style. Uh, except your hopes are what sink, not to them. Let's put that aside. Put everything back. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so, oh, those who know me know I do like a bag. It's a rather nice black velvet bag for things. So that, that's good. That just tells me something. There's one of the mechanics I like in it of picking things from a bag. Gets a bit of a thing. And the figures, I've heard a little bit about these figures, and I've heard they're not really brilliant, but they do the job. And uh, let me have a look. Bride of Frankenstein. Very good friend at a gaming group I run who will love that character. Um, the Mummy. Used to have a model of the Mummy. I uh, stand on my, after I made it upside down, I put it on my sideboard, replete with blood of its victims dripping from its hands. Boris Karloff, if for those who um, remember. Obviously, hold on, let me see. Boris Karloff, also famous for playing the monster. Not Frankenstein. Uh, most of us know Frankenstein was the doctor. Uh, but the monster was played by Boris Karloff. A.K.A. was it? I believe it was Karloff, it was originally Boris, uh, sorry, William Pratt. Uh, as a small note of trivia, allegedly the name of Spike in Buffy. Uh, the Count, <laughs> his cloak there, oops, I'm just trying to get that in so focus, his cloak there, making his ears look very much like, well, sorry, his cloak look very much like his ears. And his classic pose. Ah, Mr. Griffin, a.k.a. the Invisible Man. Uh, I don't know if I can get a better... Can I get a better focus on that? Uh, come on, focus a little better. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Uh, classic uh, Invisible Man there. Um, the Wolf Man. A classic uh, Universal Wolfman. And uh, the uh, Beast from the Black Lagoon. So all very nicely represented and actually quite accurate to their original film uh, setups. Baggy for them. Uh, some dice, look good quality. Okay. Um, Standee bases, clear and coloured, for the player characters. Um, serviceable, from the looks of them. Uh, I would say the, I would definitely say the word for those is serviceable. Um, they seem okay in general, though. And uh, what else do we have? So, oh, what are we here? Oh, the uh, character cards for the monsters. Here we go. 
so we have uh, Dracula. Okay, and uh, I'm assuming this is how you defeat him. You need to smash all his coffins. Uh, the mummy. It's nice to see that, they, as I say, the artwork is very reminiscent of the original films. I mean, nowadays people are oh, they're not really scary, but a lot of the good old, the good old classics. Um, much nicer to watch with your family on Halloween if you don't want to stick with your saw and that. They've got their place, but all oh, these are nice. Frankenstein and the Bride. <laughs> I like that. Here comes the Bride. And uh, that's nice, because that's more reminiscent of uh, the feel of the original books where the monster must be educated. Um, it's not going to annoy me too much they call him Frankenstein. I mean, pretty much did in the universal ones, but we all know the truth. Um, and we also know they eventually became Herman Monster and Lily, let's face it. Uh, the Beast of the Black Lagoon, always one for the dames, carrying them off. Uh, some nice little humour with their uh, names. Uh, and uh, the Wolfman, which, uh, obviously Lon Chaney, the person playing him before. It was once said he was so good at makeup that he'd be careful you didn't step on a spider in case you stepped on Lon Chaney. Uh, the Invisible Man. That's looking good. Obviously not so invisible in this game, really. And, uh, oh, that's the monsters. I'm only understanding there might be expansions to this. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but, uh, again, the cards, again, evoking very much the feel of the, the uh, early 20th century films. And it's got these annoying... There we go. There we go, got that all off. Yes, it's indeed that unpacked. So we have... Uh, <clears throat> nice. Ah. A hypnotic gaze there. Obviously, though, I mentioned Peter Cushing earlier. These are all earlier than Peter Cushing. Uh, in reality, because... Uh, they came much later with a hammer error. But actually, that would be interesting if they could do a hammer horror horrified. That would be quite nice. Bring up today, get a bit Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, Vincent Price going. Oh, those definitely look all... The artwork very much on point for the uh, scenario. So, really, I don't think there's really much to complain. The storage seems nice. The pieces are... Uh, not the best when you're looking at figures, but they're not all cardboard standees either. Um, and I've only understanding this does evoke the feel quite nicely and is very family friendly, um, which obviously Hammer Horror nowadays very much is. Uh, it's never really, not Hammer Horror, I mean uh, Universal Monsters, the original ones. It's nothing really scary nowadays. Back then it was very scary and unknown. Uh, now it's just nice and uh, nostalgic to watch. Um, and they still have their charm. Uh, after all. Uh, we wouldn't really have any of the modern horror without them. Uh, but uh, there we go. Again, that is uh, Universal Monsters by Ravensburger Horrified. And uh, this has been Cardboard Geek, and uh, I'm signing off. I hope you've enjoyed that. A like or subscribe. As I say, we're quite new, so there's not a lot to see at the moment. We're very new to this. Um, and uh, goodbye.